Hi, thanks for tuning into Revelations. It's a series on evangelism and discipleship, highlighting ministries in action all around the country. Today we're in Oklahoma City, visiting Oklahoma Baptist Homes for Children. And with me is Tony Kennedy, the president for the ministry. Thank you so much, Tony, for joining us here today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Chuck. Well, let's talk about what God's doing here in the ministry. I understand uh, you've been doing this a while. Tell us a little bit about the history. Well, it's pretty exciting. Uh, before Oklahoma became a state, uh, the Baptists of Indian Territory and Oklahoma Territory agreed upon a need for a children's home, and that started it back in 1903. We became a state in 1907. I think you've developed some projects and programs over the years, and uh, I understand you have a continuum of care here. Tell me about that. Chuck, we, have, uh, we, we begin uh, our, our ministry work with uh, Hope Pregnancy Centers, and so we're serving uh, even the unborn children and mothers and, and decisions that they make. And, and then we have maternity services that we provide. Also, we have a boys' ranch, uh, a girls' home in Medill, Oklahoma, uh, the children's home here in Oklahoma City, and then a children's home in Owasso. And that continuum, uh, children stay with us as long as they need to, and that means all the way through college or, or helping them get started in a business. Yeah. Sounds like a real front lines ministry for the next generation. Stay tuned as we get some more interviews uh, and you can learn about how God is using a ministry like this to reach this world for Christ and hopefully you'll get a fresh revelation as to the part you could be playing being His hands and feet. Stay tuned. The Baptist Children's Home has been here for over a hundred years and I'm grateful to be a part of a ministry that has such rich history of helping children. I'm grateful to be a part of a state where Baptists have come together, Christians have come together and just loved kids. Uh, it started as uh, big red brick buildings with matrons that took care of lots of kids to the current concept of cottages, house parents, uh, live-in house parents who take care of up to eight kids. I know for about the last century they've been helping children uh, and it seems that and now we're, they're opening new doors to help families uh, instead of just the children to where the mothers and ch uh, children are able to stay together. It was very important for us to find a place to live for the simple fact that I needed a safe environment to raise my son. He means the world to me and I want nothing better for him than to have as great of childhood as I had for the most part and I want to be able to provide that for him. The Baptist Children's Home's desire and my desire is to take care of children, to give some children their lives back, to give moms their life back, to be with their children. It was more important to find a place um, safe and secure in a Christian-based home and Christian-based opinions seemed to help tremendously. So we started asking the question about five or six years ago, could we do something to keep the families from falling apart? And we came up with the concept of having a single mother program. And so we started thinking, what if we could bring the moms from the environment, their culture, of all the bad choices, the drugs, all the things. Could we bring them out of that environment to an environment where Christ reigns and give them the chance to have a fresh start, a new life? Uh, so it's been a great start with that. The Children's Hope Program was set up about five years ago and it's uh, to keep to working with the mothers and the children together. You start seeing the change in their life. Uh, we try to work with their spiritual goals, physical goals, emotional counseling and uh, educational, become independent. It is a faith-based program. Uh, they encourage you to work on your relationship with God and that's what I want to do because I know that's the only way um, I can have a good life and, and benefit from it and to um, help others by, by doing God's will. In Oklahoma Baptist Homes for Children, we have a myriad of services, a, a full spectrum from our perspective. We work with our Hope Pregnancy Center where young ladies are determining do they want to parent or place a child. Uh, and if they decide that they want to place a child, then we have the adoption referrals that can help them with that. If they decide to parent the child, then we have maternity services in our Owasso campus. The Boys Ranch is a working ranch and it provides a home for uh, boys. Uh, they're there for a variety of reasons, but they live in cottages of eight boys and two house parents. And they go to public schools, but 
Uh, they can be involved in animal programs, sports programs, creative media programs. That's very similar to our Medill campus, where it is a, a girls' campus, and they have a, a cow program and a pig program and a sheep program. So they, they have show animals, and they just went to their show animal project last week. So, But they're young ladies in a rural community in a small school uh, that have the opportunity to live in one of four cottages and be in a Christian home as well. And now it's grown into um, a ministry with four different campuses. So, The body of Christ needs to be involved in this ministry, either here in Oklahoma or in your own city, your own state, because there's a lot of hurting people out there. And uh, for me, Children's Hope is the hands and feet of discipleship, the true meaning of discipleship, showing somebody how to live Christ every day. The first thing that Christians can do to help us is to begin praying for this ministry. If they do that, if they'll sincerely pray about that, God will lead them in whatever way fits them best. Because God is a, is, a, is a master at finding what we have to offer for other people. We have Facebook and we have internet. And if people get on there and look up, there is the needs that is downloaded on a regular basis of what each, the children's part, the children's hope, Boys Ranch, all the different ministries that are there and see what God leads them in personally to help with. If this ministry was not available or if this program was not here, I, I don't know what my son and I would do. He is the most special thing to me in the world and I'm just so blessed that there is children's hope. Well, thanks again for watching this episode of Revelations, and Tony, thank you so much for letting our crew come here and, and get a glimpse into to what God's doing in this ministry, and he certainly has put together a great team. Well, thank you, Chuck. I am really thrilled uh, with the team that we have working with us, and you know, many of these uh, uh, started with us as summer missionaries uh, through our Baptist Collegiate Ministries and, and have been with us, uh, some of them, 20 years and uh, they are committed to this work and, and they're God's finest. Yeah, well, I know that. God's been in the team building since Adam and Eve, you know, so your board members down to uh, tomorrow's volunteer. Amen. God brings them, right? He sure does. Well, I want to take this opportunity to pray with you and ask God to bless this ministry and, and also for our viewers to pray with us and, and see how He might use us all to work together for the glory of God. Great. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we love you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being our Savior. We thank you for the Holy Spirit you've poured out into our hearts as believers and, and how you've given us a heart to co-labor together as we all co-labor with you. And Lord, we just ask you in the name of Jesus to continue to, to bless Oklahoma Baptist Homes for Children and all those kids that are here, Lord, that you would continue just to pour out your Holy Spirit on them, heal them, strengthen them, equip them to be uh, men and women of God with a heart for God to go out and serve you. God, we just pray that you would continue even to show us now what our part is in the body of Christ, to come alongside and to co-labor together for your glory, for your purpose, and for your namesake. And uh, we just want to again tell you that we love you. We thank you for calling us out of darkness into light and giving us an opportunity to serve you. And we pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for watching our show. And uh, we'd like to encourage you to take a look at the website. It's obhc.org. And hopefully you can find some opportunities to serve and, and be the hands and feet for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks again for watching.